Hello everyone, welcome to Media Pro. My name is Yue and here is my video essay for Very Video. In this essay, I will build a general analysis on our two group projects for Very Video this semester. One is an online video promoting the clinical skills in learning and teaching central at the University of Liverpool's School of Medicine. Another is a promotion movie about the friends of Williamson Tennis. The following parts include analysis of general characteristics, analysis of leadership and teamwork theory and practice, analysis on social media promotions and tactics of key influencers, relevant critical reflection on practice and future action points. The first part is an analysis of contagious characteristics. In this part, I will introduce how I applied Burger's contagious theories within my projects, and then I will demonstrate further personal suggestions on his theories. To be specific, Jonah Burger has proposed the STEPPS framework, including six main parts in 2016. Social currency, triggers, emotion, public, practical value, and stories. First of all, when it comes to the social currency and the practical value, Berger states that the content should be useful and make the consumers believe that their sharing will benefit others and therefore make them look kind to others among their social circles. And it is our inherent willingness to help others that drives the public communication of information, although the topics sometimes seem not interesting, which is cited by Baylot in 2015. In the situation of our two group projects, both of the two videos have provided useful information for the specific population and therefore have their positive practical significance. For example, the clinical video introduces the clinical skills to learn at the University of Liverpool School of Medicine and those seems useful for the students who would like to register for medical school in this area. In addition, the promotion of the Friends of Williamson Tunnels is also useful for people interested in local volunteer work in Liverpool. Then, let's move to the trigger part. According to Berger in 2016, the stimulation from a similar environment can trigger ideas, create associations within the audience and therefore influencing behavior. Our two videos are all built based on the familiar surrounding environments and draw from the perspectives of an inexperienced viewer. For example, in the volunteer video, the route starts from the student apartment and the ordinary streets, creating an inherent connection with the viewer's daily life. Next, I will talk about emotion. The total emotional tone embodied in our group budget seems positive, encouraging, and appealing. However, it is regarded as a relatively weaker component in our video design, as the narrator is usually stating and receiving objective facts and seems to lack of strong subjective emotions. Then, the public part also plays an important role in our promotion. The encouraging words are used in social media advertisements to stimulate the potential audience to leave their comments and this does increasing the comment rate. Finally, the convincing story based on 
Real personal experience of students and volunteers are also significant uh, attracting points, including the interviews with the current students of School of Medicine and the experienced volunteers of the Friends of Williamson Turners. Generally, although the use of STEPPS framework has expanded the influence sphere from the university students to the local public, the life cycle of our videos still seems comparatively shorter with a lower view rate, which means the balance of these six components still need to be adjusted. However, according to Pilot, in 2015, Berger's STEPPS framework uses general clinch and extensive spots to demonstrate the absorbability of abstract ideas, but lack of groundbreaking information relating to the reasons of contagious communication which indicates that more specific media series need to be introduced in the future. Then, the general characteristics of these two group videos will be analyzed, including three main genres, commercial video, educational video, and activism video. To be specific, the first video is a mixture of educational video and commercial video, as the former part teaches the audience about the clinical skills in the teaching and learning center, and the latter part provides an informal communication between the consumers about a specific businesses. University admissions, which actually applies Westbrook's commercial series in 1987. To improve the engaging effect of the video, we have applied Guo, Kim, and Robin's key points in 2014 and therefore adopt short lines, informal style, and one-to-one -one fast paced interview with the students. In addition, the second video can be defined as an activism video to appeal to more people to participate in the local volunteer work. As Joyce has proved the significance of digital campaigning for social movements in 2010 and Custer's argues in 2015 that relevant new public space should be carved out beyond the internet and become visible in public life. Our video strengthens the sense of participation from the perspective of a new volunteer and points out the convenient location that is near to local public standing life. At the end of the video, the narrator encourages the viewers to click on the digital sites of the Friends of Williamson channels and take part in the actions to preserve the historic sites in reality. Moreover, this aspect can be seen as the most important lesson that I have learned from this semester's course which is different to that in last semester's individual projects. The analysis of leadership and teamwork. In fact, our cooperation did not go so smoothly. According to Lane Johnny in 2006, the dice functions of a team are composed of five main elements. In addition to results, evidence of accountability, lack of commitment, fear of conflict and absence of trust, which are usually the primary problems of a working shop composed of unfamiliar members. To be specific, we have met a series of technical problems such as the time conflicts with volunteers, the misunderstanding of the exchange of views and the unclear work allocation. 
However, after long planning and discussion, we finally overcame these problems and successfully completed our project. For example, when designing the cover sheet of the video, the disagreement of opinion once disturbed our work process. Through so the negotiation on group chat, we finally found several purple examples of dominant design and completed an audience-oriented cover sheet. Personally, I think the experience is an important lesson of practical significance in the final stage of my university studies, providing a valuable chance to train my team spirit and comparatively weak uh, organizational management uh, capabilities. Additionally, our social media promotions and tracking of key influencers are also key points to analyze. Grand Vita in 1973 believes that properly utilizing the strength of weak ties in small scale interaction contributes to the wide diffusion of information within social networks. As the overlap of two individuals' friendship networks can influence their tie to each other. Demil, Ferrara, Fumara, Truviti also admit the cohesive power of such weak ties and argue that most ties are weak on social media. According to the Social Science Computer Review in 2016 cited in Viola in 2017, one third of the world population belongs to social media users and the amount is keeping growing annually by 10%. Therefore, social media play an important role in our promotion, which mainly relies on the viral commission of our promoting posts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and WeChat. Two popular official accounts, Williamson's channels and communication and media in the University of Liverpool have reposted our Twitters for helping to achieve the tipping point of the life circle. Moreover, our group members post this advertisement on WeChat usually in the evening every day, encouraging the potential audience to watch videos in their leisure time before or after dinner. Finally, I will introduce several action points relating to my further developments in the field of viral video or communication and media practice. According to Bloom's reversed taxonomy of thinking skills, students' engagement in remembering, understanding, applying in the courses and their critical reflection on practice as analyzing and uh, evaluating uh, all for the further correction in their career. When applying this theory in real video, I find that not only I have learned important experience from the interaction with the staff, but also has the cost helped me to find my weakness in media practice, which still needs to be improved in the future. Firstly, the comparatively low real ratio has warned us to expand the publicity and apply more effective approach to promote. As social media is our main stage for promoting, next time we can introduce more offline strategies such as campus talk with local staff in our new university. In addition, the stronger connection with more popular offshore accounts should also be built to gain more reports. Furthermore, we can also learn from professional marketing strategies on social media and use more viral design of further 
advertisements to expand the scope of the audience. Secondly, specific professional skills relating to content creation still need to be improved in the future, including technical skills about the use of camera and indenting software, use of the language and organizing management and innovative skills to attract the wheel. In conclusion, this video essay has used relevant media series to provide a deep analysis of our two group projects and demonstrate the future action points relating to critical reflection on practice. As the transformation from Web 1.0 to Web 2.0 has changed the online users from passive receivers of information to the active creators of content, which is argued by Bones in 2008 and Sites in Gates Research in 2012. The communication of web radio has become a heated issue of great public concern. Therefore, this cause has its unique importance in the current time and has provided us with a meaningful experience to explore in broader communication and media practice in the future. Okay, I think that brings me to the ending of the presentation. If you have many questions, please feel free to leave all your comments and let us know. Moreover, if you like this video, please click like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for your listening.